hello folks um let's see if i can get some light in here welcome welcome to the channel real quick here i'll try to do this within two minutes or at least under under five minutes keep it short appreciate your time well thanks for tuning in here's a video on how to transfer your photos from an iphone this is an iphone 10 the latest update that they just did maybe three days ago and transfer them onto a windows machine this is the last resort because my first initial process of doing this was oops using this cable here you see this i would use this connect it to your uh, desktop laptop and I would just transfer away. Easy, right? Easy. Plug, plug in and transfer away. Easy. And, and now, uh, using the iCloud, I got 2,893 photos. I've only selected 430, so yeah, 430. Uh, it's been transferring, so it started 12.19 and it finished at 12.37. This is from the iCloud. This is the, what is it, 99 cents for 50 gigs. You can upgrade. And this is the last resort for me because every time I transfer, I try to use this cable here. I'm unable to do it. I can only transfer 10 photos at a time and then it somehow disconnects my phone even though my phone is not on, it doesn't go onto standby, doesn't shut off or doesn't dim the display. So yeah, that's, I don't know, that's a little, I don't know, I kind of quit after trying to troubleshoot for 10 minutes, 15 minutes and I was like, you know what? You can find another way of transferring my photos onto an external hard drive. Because if you want to back them up, there's the iCloud. But for whatever reason, if you don't want it on the iCloud, there's always Google Drive. But if you want your personal photos, just in case, you know, electricity goes out and you don't have, you know, you want to back it up onto a physical medium. So server hard drive, whatever you got. But this is the iCloud. Oh, sorry, excuse me, battery's running low. So this is one way of doing it, three minutes in. Um, yeah, you know, my, my quarrel with Apple is that they really want you to stay in their uh, little sandbox or big sandbox and stay in their Apple ecosystem because, uh, yeah, it's kind of difficult to transfer your personal photos onto a Windows machine. If anyone else has another way, let me know. But this is one way of I'm doing it right now. It's one of the ways, but uh, this is the way that works. And 18 minutes, 1219, 1237, that's today. And got a lot of photos, so a lot more to go. Unfortunately, I'm not able to use this because for some reason on this, when I'm running, did I mention that already? Windows 8.1, not transferring, not upgrading to Windows 10. Don't want to, not yet. I, don't, I just don't have the, uh, I don't want to do that yet. But, uh, so yeah, that's how you do it. That's, you know, log into your iCloud and just download away. And when you do select, this is for Apple uh, Windows machine. Once you select, make sure. If, well, it depends. I'm using this right here, Logitech. But if you have a wheel mouse, you could probably scroll down and select everything. But if you can't do that, hold the shift button as you select. And then you can scroll down as well. Hopefully that makes sense, but hold shift. Anyways, under five minutes. Thanks for tuning in and see ya.